Good evening. WA is tonight whole again after 697 days. The fortress has fallen and a state has rejoined the rest of the nation. There were tears of joy as loved ones reunited, grandparents meeting their grandchildren for the first time and families finally back together. Almost 5,000 travellers today flooding in quarantine free. We have reporters at Perth Airport and across the city for this momentous day in WA's pandemic plight. Natalia Cooper begins our coverage. There isn't a more beautiful sight than this. Set against the sweet soundtrack of the Perth Symphony Orchestra, families run back into each other's arms after far too long apart. The kind of hugs where neither person ever wants to let go. At midnight, the first international flight touches down. Sue Ellen Edwards nervously waits. What's a few more minutes when you've been holding on for two and a half years? Then she spots them. <laughs> Embracing her daughter Georgie, who lives in Germany. Hello, darling. And meeting six-month-old grandson Felix for the very first time. Good boy, little darling. Now it's time to get to know, get each, to other. know each other. <laughs> Lots of catching up to do, hey? So much catching up. It's been a while since I've seen them. 2019 was the last time Stuart hugged his granddaughter from Thailand. This moment, overwhelming. His family and heart whole again. I'm glad I've finally got my daughter and granddaughter back. For most, it was tears of joy. We've got it for two months now. Is that a tear in your eye? <laughs> Fantastic. I'm, I'm so excited. My heart's going. It's crazy. But not a happy homecoming for all. It's been two and a half years since I've been home, so yeah. And my father's in hospital. Yeah. Emotions overflowing at the domestic terminal too. <laughs> this woman almost speechless meeting her grandchild. Oh, the... oh my God, sorry. 6PR's Oliver Peterson isn't normally lost for words, but his parents are about to arrive and meet his son Henry, who was born with a congenital eye disease. <laughs> Oh, I'm speechless. I'm never lost for words, but let's tell you, this is unbelievable. And it's just so special. <laughs> Are you ever going to let him go? Never. <laughs> let's never have this again, ever, ever again. Hopefully hard borders are now a thing of the past. Seeing all of these reunions with the Qantas choir in the background, it's just so emotional and hard not to be incredibly moved. How are you we better go. <laughs> I can't, oh, God. <laughs> Perth Airport full of happy faces, but Margie Horan may have been the happiest of all. It's the best day of my life, and in a moment, oh my God. The moment she was waiting for, seeing her two sisters from Adelaide for the first time in two years. We are ecstatic! <laughs> And Natalia Cooper, today's emotional reunions are just the start. Tomo, just under 5,000 people have flooded in today and there are quite a few arriving right now. A flight has just touched down from Melbourne. Hello. <laughs> We're expecting around 23,000 people to arrive on Qantas and Jetstar flights over the next week. Look, it is just a fraction of the normal arrivals, but it is a very good start. These reunions are so emotional to watch. I don't think I'll ever tire of seeing them, Tomo. They are full of emotion. Everyone has their own story too. Natalia, thank you.